Please welcome Chief Product Officer Atlassian, Joff Redfern. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. And welcome, everyone, online. We are so excited to be here. And how friggin' awesome were those London buskers. <laughs> yeah, right? Give it up for the London buskers. That is such an incredible act. I am so energized by music. And when the lockdown first happened, I wanted to unleash my inner musician. So I bought myself a ukulele, and I thought, how hard could it be? The thing only has four strings. Well, let me tell you, it's actually really hard, and I sucked big time. Um, but when music, music is done right, like we just saw with the buskers, it brings us together. Each of those buskers is such an incredible talent on their own, but together, they're even more amazing. And when you see a group of people working really well together, you have to ask, what makes that group work so well and others just fall flat? We have a name for it. It's called getting in the groove. And I'm sure you know this feeling because it's not just with music. Think about it. Have you ever been in a crowded movie theater watching a movie, right? You know this feeling. The laughs hit a little bit harder. The drama tugs a little bit more. And that's because you're experiencing it together and you're in the groove. For me, my son is a high school runner and he's in a relay race. And whenever I see them perfectly passing that baton, I think to myself, that group is in the groove. And it's the same thing for service management. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how your development, IT operations, and business teams, all with their own unique skills and rhythms, can find their groove together to deliver great service experiences. Now, unfortunately, the way that the world does service management today is just falling flat. And I've met with many of our customers, and some of you in the room today have told me there are several things that you all hate about traditional ITSM. First, it's really complicated, and it takes an army of consultants. Second, your dev and your IT teams are siloed, making it harder for them to keep services up and running. And lastly, you told me that HR, finance, marketing, it takes an eternity for, for them to experience great service management. And that is simply bad service management. And we have a name for it, BSM. Have you ever experienced bad service management? Get your hands up. Yeah, I see, see a number of folks here, right? You know this feeling. Three years ago, we took a big bet, and we knew that we wanted to take advantage of our Jira franchise to bridge development, IT, and business teams like no one else could. We also knew that we wanted to take our internal innovation and bring that together with best-in-class acquisitions so that we could bolster our offering in two areas in particular. First, in operations. We want to bring your dev and your ops teams even closer together. And second, in support. We want to break down those silos between IT and business teams so every team can deliver great service. And that's what gets us to today with Jira Service Management. 45 thousand customers are already using Jira Service Management. And here's the amazing part. It's from the smallest companies to the largest. From cutting edge biotech companies to some of the oldest manufacturers in the world. One of my favorite stories is NG. Now, this company goes all the way back to the building of the Suez Canal in 1858. Today, 
They have 170,000 employees focused on delivering low-carbon energy solutions. <laughs> yeah, we got someone from NG here. Woo! Absolutely. Um, and they're guided by this new customer-centric vision and mission. And the team at NG decided to transform how they do service management. They had been using ServiceNow, but it was incredibly complex and hard to configure. They're wasting huge amounts of time and money to deliver new services across IT, business, and beyond. They weren't in the groove. Then, bam, they replaced ServiceNow with Share Service Management. I love that screen. <laughs> By switching solutions, they cut their costs, their licensing costs, 67%. And they freed up over 200 hours a month of their technical team's time. And the highlight for the team was that switching was really surprisingly simple. They simply turned off ServiceNow one night and turned on Atlassian the next day. It really was that easy. Let's talk about another big hit, PostNord. PostNord is the large, anyone from PostNord? We don't have the PostNord first people here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> PostNord, if you don't know PostNord, PostNord is the largest postal service in the Nordics. And they have over 28,000 employees. Check out these numbers. 1.2 billion letters and shipments and 226 million parcels delivered just in the past year. Now, PostNord's story has a lot of twists and turns. They started with HP Service Management. That didn't work out. Then they moved over to ServiceNow. They realized that using more traditional, heavier solutions simply wasn't meeting their needs. And the complexity and the cost was slowing them down instead of speeding them up. They wanted to change. Their development team was already using Jira software, and their entire company was using Confluence to collaborate. The next step for them was obvious. Let's get everybody on one platform to deliver great service management. So that's what they did. They partnered with Devo Team to go all in on Atlassian, and then bam, they replaced ServiceNow with Jira service management. From there, Things were moving at high velocity. Within months, they had rolled out Jira service management for IT support and, and connecting both their development and their operations team to respond to changes even faster. And from there, they replaced ServiceNow portal, and they moved from HR handling requests, and they also brought together managing their supplier requests all in Jira service management. PostNord is now on a single backbone of Jira service management. NG and PostNord are hitting their groove. Two huge enterprises going through a massive digital and cultural transformation with Jira service management. And our incredible customer momentum and our pace of innovation has caught the eye of industry analysts. Forrester researched named Atlassian as a leader in the enterprise management wave. They recognized our potential to deliver great services across business, not just in IT. And I'm super pumped to announce that Gartner just recently named Atlassian a leader in the 2022 Magic Quadrant for ITSM platforms. But get this, they named us after the fastest growing product in two years in a row. On top of that, Forrester Consulting recently con conducted a study, and they found that on average, enterprises that are using Jira service management have an ROI of 277%, $4.2 million in benefits over three years, four months to implement, and six months payback. That's pretty amazing. Now, 
many of you have told us that you're looking to right-size your ITSM solutions, and with good reason. Recently, Gartner found that eight out of 10 organizations overspend on IT service management by a whopping 50% of the contract value. 50%. Which means that eight out of 10 organizations are suffering from bad service management. But there's hope for these organizations. And today, we'd like to announce our plans to eradicate BSM. And to do so, I'm going to turn it over to a special guest, Atlassian co-founder and co-CEO, Scott Farquhar. Here at Atlassian, we try to do our part in the fight against bad service management. BSM means delayed timelines, confused teammates, bloated budgets, and bad deployments. With Jira Service Management, our customers avoid all this terrible stuff. We actually get a lot of fan mail from Darius. Before JSM, things were, let's say, challenging. Our timelines were slow, so slow that it actually developed a stress-induced rash which was so painful I screamed all day. BSM caused our team's budget to bloat so much that HR told me I was more valuable dead than alive. Before Jira, I spent 15 days in a cobalt mine. Even now, I remember the names of the powerful spiders in the creepy corner. With JSM, with JSM all my colleagues are so happy. Jason intentionally vomited on my car. I became paranoid that they were out to get me. So I bought rope, duct tape, and a large mallet, and then... I thought I was the mongoose king and I needed some milkmaids. Well, those were some great and certainly um, vivid reminders of why we're launching a global movement to end BSM, which includes new incentives for all teams of all sizes to switch to Jira service management. So here's to a much, much brighter future. There's hope. If you or someone you know is suffering from BSM, contact us at www.nbsmnow.com. Yeah. I always get choked up when I hear these stories. But I couldn't be happier to be a part of the NBSM movement with Scott and my fellow Atlassians. Starting today, we're introducing an End BSM Now incentive program. Okay, so here's the deal. For small teams, we're giving away 10 free agents for all new signups on the standard plan for one year. And for our friends in larger organizations, we're offering 30% off your first year of a three-year contract on any JSM or cloud or JSM data center. Honestly, that's, that's pretty awesome. Check out our website at endbsmnow.com or contact your Atlassian Enterprise rep for more information and join us in our fight to end bad service management. But this incentive program is just one of many things that we're excited to talk to you about today. Next up, you're going to hear from Molly, who's going to talk to you about all the cool new capabilities that are coming to developers and IT operations. And then after that, Shehab is going to come up here and talk about how it's super simple for all your teams across HR, facilities, finance, and beyond to deliver great service management. He's also going to give you a sneak peek on our vision for a unified help experience where the teams can use any support tool, not just Jira service management, we can't wait to share with you some of the cool new stuff that's coming. And with that, give your hands up for Molly. Awesome. You got this. Thanks, Joff. I'm so excited to be here with all of you in London today. That busker's performance earlier was so cool. Now, I can't sing or beatbox or play any instruments, but 
I am 100% here for some Taylor Swift karaoke, especially if I don't have to sing alone. In the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through some of the awesome advancements we're making to help modern operations teams get in the groove. As a marketer, I love what I do because I get to come to events like this and talk to customers like you. I'm sure I've even met some of you at Team over the years. But in all of those conversations, regardless of what industry you're in, the size of your company, or where you're located, I constantly hear the same struggles from all of you. Your teams are dealing with things like complex infrastructure that have dependencies on multiple teams around the world, aggressive timelines when it comes to responding to business changes and incidents, and bad service management software, like you just heard from Scott, that creates silos, which means your teams are working in different tools and have no idea who owns what. With all of these challenges, how do your operations teams reach their full potential and find the beat together? At Atlassian, we're continuing to invest in a new movement, one where development and IT operations are completely changing how they partner to deliver great products and services together. We're helping operations teams empower their dev counterparts with the autonomy to run fast, all while staying aligned with the business. Let's dive in. I want to show you how Atlassian helps your dev and ops teams balance that autonomy with alignment when it comes to both incidents and changes. But first, Think about how you built software 20 or even 10 years ago. Now fast forward to today. What's changed? Well, pretty much everything is powered by software today. And digital products and services are everywhere. And software isn't just written anymore. It's made of different components, like microservices and libraries, all developed by different teams spread all over the world. And for all of the developers here or watching online, you're the ones that have to assemble this software, which means that you need to know, where do I find that microservice? Who owns it, and where do I go to get help? And how do I know if they're compliant and secure? If any of you are familiar with jazz music, you know that if it's not coordinated, it can sound like a bunch of noise. This happens with distributed architecture, too it can quickly turn into noise or sprawl, where information is everywhere and nowhere all at once. Imagine if you could see all of the information about your components in one place. Well, that's the beauty of one of our latest innovations, Compass. Only Atlassian has the ability to pull in everything developers need from all of the components that make up their services. So, what is Compass? First, it's a component catalog that helps you tame sprawl. It maps out all of the components your devs use, plus information about the teams that own and collaborate around these components. It's also a DevOps health tool. You can monitor the health of components and take action faster when you see problems. On top of all of that, it's an extensibility engine. It's powered by Forge, which is Atlassian's developer ecosystem platform. So it lets you customize your developers' workflow experiences to match the way they work. Let's look at an example. Stacy here is our developer at a big concert ticket website, and she and her team own the identity service. She can see all of the details related to the service, things like associated repos, documentation, and dashboards. She can see the health of the components via scorecards and metrics. She can also see on-call schedules and how to contact the right team if she needs to. Complete visibility all in one place. Now, I mentioned that Stacy works for a concert ticket website. Well, Taylor Swift just announced her tour, and tickets are going on sale today. And I'm getting ready to buy some for myself, too. Uh, is there an outage? Um, I have no idea what's happening. Let's check in on Stacy and see if we can find out. OK, it looks like Stacy got an alert on her phone that the service isn't responding. 
Stacy's acknowledging the alert now. She's looking into all of the details, like who else was alerted, and possible reasons for why the service isn't responding. It looks like there was a 3,000% increase in traffic to the website. That can't be good. Now she's checking to see who's on call to make sure the right engineers and ops people are being pulled in to help. They've got to resolve this quickly before fans start complaining online. It looks like Stacy's escalating this to a major incident because it's a critical service, and she's worried about all of the teams that are trying to access the website at the same time. Now, all of the right teams are alerted and pulled into the war room. Luckily, the dev and ops teams are able to work on any device anywhere in the world and still come together to swarm on the incident quickly. Stacy can easily spin up a Slack channel or start a Zoom meeting. She can even send stakeholder status updates so that everyone is fully aligned on the next steps. She and the team can also leverage the incident investigation view so that they can diagnose and roll back changes if they need to. Automatic timeline updates keep everyone on the same page about the incident resolution status. It looks like the team has finally resolved the incident. Whew, that was tough but we were eventually able to get our tickets, and now I can't wait to see Taylor live. Now, how do you minimize such a catastrophic incident from happening again? The best incident response teams come together to collaborate in a post-incident review. Jira Service Management makes PIR so much easier by automatically populating a pre-built template that pulls in all of the key information, like a summary of the incident, that can be quickly exported to everyone's favorite collaboration tool, Confluence. And smart links in Confluence really take PIRs to another level. Actually, this one's really cool. It's one of my favorite Confluence features. The team can use smart links to directly embed anything into their PIR, maybe an incident response flowchart or a crisis comms diagram from design tools like Miro, Figma, or Mural. I've just shown you how when something goes wrong, how we can help dev and ops teams come together to swarm on, resolve, and learn from incidents. Now let's talk about the flip side of the coin, changes. And start, let's start with developers. Like the buskers earlier, developers have different instruments, each with their own unique rhythm but they need to come together and start playing to the same beat. If you're following my metaphor here, they need some alignment. Now, in an ideal world, we know every single developer would love the autonomy to push every single line of code straight into production, but we know that's not always possible, right? Because one false step in production can have huge consequences. So if you're in IT operations, what do you do? You might put in checks and balances, like a change approval process. Unfortunately, though, with traditional ITSM, that typically means your developers are forced to fill out a change request form and then go back and forth with ops to get even the smallest change through. Not only is this a waste of time and frustrating for everyone in the process, but the best developers in the world, they don't want to work at companies that work this way. Wouldn't it be better if these change requests were automatically created for you so your developers could operate at even higher velocity? Well, thanks to Jira Service Management, your developers no longer need to manually create change requests. And in addition to connecting directly to CI CD tools like Bitbucket, Jenkins, Circle CI, and Octopus Deploy, I'm excited to share that we're expanding this capability with integrations to GitHub and GitLab. Now, as the change goes through the pipeline, the change request is automatically created in Jira Service Management. All of the information about the code and the deployment is included. Your developers are going to love this because it saves them time and lets them go back to doing what they do best, like writing code or maybe even starting a band. And your ops teams will love it too because now they've got a complete record of all of the code changes. And thanks to our risk assessment engine, low-risk changes are automatically approved and deployed 
while high-risk changes are sent to the right teams for manual approval. Now, what about those medium-risk changes, the ones that aren't risky enough to need a complete manual approval process? Jira Service Management has the unique ability to let changes soak first, meaning if no incidents occur in a set period of time, then the change gets automatically pushed to production. Let's look at an example now of a high-risk change that does require manual approval. This right here is where Atlassian's unique approach to change management really takes center stage. Here we've got Dante. He's the change manager for his ops team, and he's seeing this change approval request come in. In one view, he can see all of the key information, like what the change is, the service the change is impacting, and the incident response team if something goes wrong. On top of that, the new risk summary view is where he can see any risks, like previous incidents or conflicting changes, giving Dante true visibility. With our advanced change calendaring capabilities, Dante can even drill into conflicting changes scheduled or see upcoming freezer maintenance windows that he should avoid. Again, giving him all the context he needs to make safer, smarter changes. I've just shown you some examples of how you can empower your developers like Stacy with the autonomy they need to push changes faster, and how your operations teams like Dante can feel confident that the work is aligned and doesn't introduce risk to the business. Now let's talk about the underlying data and insights that your teams can leverage to improve both of these practices. Just like the most talented musicians, modern ops teams have to continuously fine tune their craft. So how do we empower these teams with insights that help them identify opportunities for improvement? And what if you had all of those insights all in one place? That's why I'm excited about Atlassian Analytics. It's currently in beta, and what's really cool about this is that it aggregates information from your everyday work. It's unique because it pulls from the Atlassian data lake, which contains cross-product and cross-instance data for easy analysis. Traditional ITSM tools usually only pull information from your ops tools, but Atlassian Analytics combines information from all the tools you use, giving you much richer insights. Let's look at a quick example. That big Taylor Swift ticket incident from earlier, it's over, and the team finished their PIR. Now, Dante from the ops team, Stacy, the service owner, and anyone else on the team can see all of the data related to their service on one dashboard. Atlassian Analytics not only helps them see incidents and support tickets associated with their service, but they can see related deployments, costs, and so much more, helping them spot trends and improve processes. Dante can correlate relationships between changes, commits, and incidents. If he sees a bunch of normal changes have been pushed through without causing any incidents, then he has a huge opportunity to convert it to a standard change and automate away that change approval process. And Stacy from development, she's excited too, because she can import third-party data from AWS, for example, helping her track service spend. Leadership dashboards also help management keep tabs on the state of the business, including overall health and quarterly trends. Now, this right here is incredible, because Atlassian is the only vendor in the ITSM market that's able to compile all of this information and turn it into valuable insights for your organization. We've just stepped through all of the recent innovations that help modern operations teams get in the groove with development and enable autonomy with alignment in their organization. Now, what about IT support and business teams? With that, please join me in welcoming Shehab to the stage to step through the investments we're making to help modern support teams get in the groove. Now, I'm going to go backstage and warm up for some karaoke later. Thanks, Molly. I think she might uh, actually be off to some karaoke right now. So Taylor Swift isn't my cup of tea, 
But I love it when artists from different genres come together to drop amazing collaborations. Now, Molly stepped you through how Jira service management helps connect your dev and IT ops teams to really find their groove to power modern operations. I'm here to talk about the other half of that picture, how IT support and business teams can find their rhythm to deliver exceptional employee service experiences. Now, for years, Jira Service Desk and now Jira Service Management has helped IT empower business teams from HR to facilities, finance, legal, and beyond to deliver amazing support to every other team in an organization. Today, I want to share with you how we're investing. We want to empower business teams to have the autonomy to rapidly build and refine the services that they deliver. And at the same time, we want to provide aligned support so employees have the freedom to get help wherever and whenever they need. Let's start with autonomous teams. We want to help teams hit the ground running. So we're continuing to build out our mixtape of pre-built service desk templates. Now, these are ready to play. And I'm excited to share that we're adding to these templates by adding marketing, finance, and analytics teams and helping them get started and hit the ground and accept incoming requests in just minutes. But we know that not everyone wants to start with the kitchen sink. So we're making it easy for teams to remix their own service desk with some high-level building blocks. First, tell us about your team. What type of team is this service desk for? Next, tell us what kind of service request you'd like to get started with. Now, based on your response, we'll surface the most common request forms. Now, you can either pick from these recommendations, like the one on screen for HR employee onboarding, or you can browse through our library of over 300 industry-tested pre-built forms to really jumpstart your service desk. And finally, choose how you want to work. You can select from one of our recommended out-of-the-box workflows or use our drag-and-drop workflow designer to create a new one to match the rhythm of your team. Now, just like that, you have a tailored service desk ready to go, ready to deliver rock star support and service experiences. You see, that's the true power of autonomy. But it doesn't just end there. Once you get going, accepting and resolving requests, you're going to get a ton of gratitude and high fives. But let's be real. At the same time, you're going to get some feedback and requests for improvement too. You see, rock stars, they don't settle. They keep at it, putting out hit after hit. And it's much the same with service delivery. So how do you quickly refine your services to keep up with your employees' feedback? Well, in Jira Service Management, we've got many tools that help you iterate and refine your service delivery, like our no-code, low-code form builder that's now included in Jira Service Management at no extra charge. Your teams can craft really powerful forms using a delightful, rich text experience. Now, anyone can design and deploy these forms with zero dependencies on IT. Now, we're adding to this power by introducing the ability to connect these forms deeply with our asset management feature. This unlocks so many possibilities. For example, you can easily update this HR onboarding form with an asset field that captures an employee's device preference. The form can dynamically analyze an employee's office location along with their job role and display the appropriate assets for them to choose. And if they don't see what they need, they can go ahead and request a bespoke device. This means your onboarding team has all the information they need to welcome in a happy new employee. But it doesn't just stop there. You see, we're adding new automation capabilities to really power these forms so you can quickly automate downstream tasks, like triggering new forms and workflows, bringing disparate teams closer together. Let's bring this one to life. Remember how there's the option to request a bespoke device? Well, with automation, your onboarding team can just sit back, relax, and let Jira Service Management handle all the routing to get the job done. First, the laptop request gets routed to the manager for their approval. Now, what's approved? It kicks off a task for the procurement team to purchase the bespoke model. It passes along all the information, like the specs, the location, the cost center, everything the procurement team needs to get their job done. 
Now, once the device is procured, automation creates a task for the IT team to load up that device with all the software and settings needed for it to be compliant. And for more advanced IT teams, this whole process can be triggered programmatically too. So this means your HR onboarding team can focus on onboarding, your procurement team focuses on purchasing, and your IT team focuses on IT. Smooth symphony. No need to spend half the time chasing teams up. And we've just stepped through some of the investments that we're making to help every team across HR, finance, facilities, and beyond to really define and refine their service desk with ease. Now let's switch gears and look at some of our recent advancements that make it even easier for employees to ask for help whenever they need. Now, the way your employees interact with your support teams, it's changed forever, especially as companies made the near overnight pivot to supporting a remote workforce. You know, gone are the days where employees can just walk up to your service desk and do drive-bys for support, right? Your employees need the ability to seek help wherever they are, whenever they need. Now, let's start with the employee portal, your front door to employee service experiences. Now, this often starts as a simple and intuitive way for your employees to get the help they need. But as more and more business teams start offering services, this initial experience can get quite overwhelming, with every employee service screaming for attention. Now, we're excited to share that you can now gather and present useful information and links together into topics on the Help Center. Now, this isn't limited to information just from Jira Service Management. For example, you might want to organize everything a new hire needs to get started, from knowledge base articles in Confluence, actions on Workday, getting started guides on YouTube, and of course, request forms within Jira Service Management. Now, we didn't just stop there. Rather than asking your employees to go to the Help Center every single time to go get help, what if we made it easy for them to get help from the tools that they're already working in? Earlier, Molly showed you some cool smart links capabilities that allow users to embed charts and diagrams in operations use cases. Now, we're looking to use that same smart link technology to embed service request forms directly in context. So your employees can submit requests for help from within knowledge base articles or blog posts in Confluence without having to switch around tools just to go get help. This isn't just limited to Confluence, by the way. Smart Links lets you take that exact same help experience and embed it in other products, like Trello or to Atlas, for that matter. Same great service experience embedded across Atlassian's product portfolio. Now, these embedded experiences, they're slick. They help collect the right information in the right context at the right time. But where do employees usually turn to when they don't know where to go to get help? That's right, it's people. Perhaps it's the last person that helped them from IT, or you know, the one person they happen to know in HR. Employees typically go to people for help, and these days, they do that via chat tools like Slack or Microsoft Teams. It's quick, it's easy. In fact, it's exactly how we want to get our questions answered. Now, we want to provide autonomy for help seekers to get help anywhere not just via the traditional channels like the portal or email. We want to be where help seekers work and make getting access to that help as seamless as possible, connecting them up to the teams providing that help. Now, earlier this year, we launched Jira Service Management Chat. This allows agents to meet help seekers where they already work and enables them to make requests directly from their chat tool through conversational ticketing. Now, since then, we've seen help seekers create over 1 million tickets directly from their Slack conversations. Now, think about that for a second. No need to navigate to a portal or bounce around between email replies. This is seamless conversational help. And just recently, we officially launched Jira Service Management Chat for Microsoft Teams, bringing that same conversational ticketing experience to even more of our customers. So every conversation with an agent, be it Slack or Teams, gets converted to a ticket in Jira Service Management. They might be playing a different instrument, 
but they're playing from the same song sheet. You see, your agents never have to hop between DMs on Slack or Teams. They can carry on with their conversations right from within Jira Service Management. And they have the full power of the ITSM solution at hand. We're talking workflows, routing, queues, KBs, SLAs, everything they need to deliver an exceptional service experience through chat. Now, that brings us to today. I'm thrilled to announce we're now giving away the conversational ticketing capabilities in the free plan of Jira Service Management. It's the perfect solution for any team to get started and deliver exceptional experiences through chat. Look, I know, I know what some of you are thinking. It's all well and good that we've now made it easy for your employees to hit up your service team, get the help they need, and get it as fast as possible. But that causes another problem. How do you scale conversational service? Well, it's a problem we've been thinking about for quite a while. And look, we know everyone's been here before, literally everyone. Chatbots based on keywords or simple rules equals bad service management. Help seekers, they're given the runaround. Well, agents have to go and pick up the pieces, and they end up with the exact same workload as before. Now, we're investing in a new way of doing things, and I'm excited to say that we're deeply weaving in virtual agent technology from Percept AI, acquired earlier this year directly into Jira Service Management to enable intelligent support at scale. So what's happening backstage? Well, behind the curtain, we're using state-of-the-art machine learning technology to learn from the patterns in your data. What are people asking for? How does your team respond? And most importantly, did that response end up resolving that request? So now, whenever a request comes in, the virtual agent can recognize the intent and trigger a back and forth conversational flow that can resolve the request for the help seeker. Now, let me share an example that I ran into just the other day. I'm struggling to connect from home. Can you help? Now, the Jira Service Management virtual agent can automatically help resolve these requests with step-by-step -step guided troubleshooting. Users can quickly get answers to solve their own specific requests, which means instant gratification for your employees and instant relief for your agents, knowing that's one less ticket on their queue. Now, for more involved issues, the natural language processing technology not only has the ability to understand intent, but it can also infer sentiment and extract structured information from the highly unstructured conversation before seamlessly transitioning the conversation to the right human expert for an easy assist. This reduces friction and can help resolve cases much, much faster. Now, with all these questions coming into your service team, you know better than anyone that a large portion of these are going to be off-repeated tier one type questions connecting to the network, password reset, software access. Now imagine if you could offload these common repetitive requests and give time back to your team to focus on higher value work. Now we've been using the virtual agent for the past couple of months internally at Atlassian, and we've seen thousands of hours saved with the virtual agent assisting in over half of the incoming conversations. This is a game changer, and we want to get this right. So today, we're opening up a private early access program for our virtual agent. Now, if you want to get involved and learn more, head to our breakout session run by our virtual agent team later this afternoon. So we've just stepped through quite a lot. We've stepped through all of the amazing advancements we're making in Jira service management that empowers business teams to have the autonomy to rapidly build and refine the services they deliver and to empower employees with aligned support so they have the freedom to get help wherever they are, whenever they need. Now, if it feels like a lot, it is. We're creating a movement here, and we want to help every organization, every team on the planet get into the groove. But the reality is most enterprises are incredibly diverse. You know, there's rarely one system of truth. You've got multiple service desk tools, custom-built systems, forms, mailing lists, chat rooms. The list just goes on. Now, many vendors out there want you to lock in on their tool, regardless of the cost. 
But at Atlassian, we believe that you can't possibly standardize on one tool or one platform for all of service delivery. Now, why is that? Well, you see, teams are quite diverse, and their needs can be quite specific. And very often, they're at different levels of maturity. So you're likely to want to use different tools that work well for different teams. But with all these new teams, tools, and channels, we have an even bigger problem. How do end users know where to go, which tool to go to, just to go get help? Our vision is to provide unified help. It centers around building an experience that coordinates the routing and resolution of all employee requests, regardless of where the work happens. Now, early in this presentation, I showed you our beginnings to this journey to creating a unified help experience, starting with the ability to aggregate topics on the portal with information gathered from a variety of different tools, not just your service management. But this, this is just the beginning. See, we're looking to build a system that can gather employee requests from their preferred channel, from the web portal, email, chat, even embedded experiences in other products and tools. The unified help engine can analyze the request to work out the user's intent and then route it to the right team and right tool for resolution. So that could end up being a request in Jira Service Management, or a knowledge article in Office 365, a card on Trello, or even an action on Workday. Our goal is to allow teams to remain autonomous, using the tools that work best for them, while having an aligned and unified help discovery experience for the rest of your employees. Now, we're really starting to drop a beat. As we enable more and more teams to model their work as a service, and provide aligned support to all of the other teams out there, we're helping organizations go wall to wall with service. That's why we're investing in a platform that can support the needs of your enterprise. Now, I'm excited to say that we're launching open access for 10,000 agents early in the coming year, with support for 20,000 agents and 3 million objects on our asset platform later in 2023. We're also making sure that our product can meet the needs of enterprise compliance. We're extending data residency support for the US, EU, Australia, and Germany. And we're looking forward to also include UK, France, Canada, and Japan in the future. <laughs> nice. We really want to build a product that you can trust, that can really help take service wall to wall. Now, as Scott mentioned earlier, we are on a mission. We're on a mission to eradicate bad service management. Now, much like music, your development, IT, and business teams have their own unique skills, styles, working rhythms. And we believe that they have to come together to deliver great service experiences. Now, earlier today, you heard from Molly about how Atlassian is helping unlock modern operations, bringing together IT and dev teams through advancements in incident management, change management, deployments, rich analytics, and much more. And just now, I shared how Atlassian is helping unlock modern support, bringing together IT and business teams to help them hit the ground running, to really define and refine the services they, de they deliver, and to enable employees to get help wherever they are, whenever they need. Now, with Jira Service Management, we want to help teams of all sizes get into the groove, we want them to help, we want to help them deliver exceptional service with ease. We're offering these teams the best of both worlds. Autonomy with alignment. Now up next is our customers unplugged fireside chat. I'm really excited about this. Our chief revenue officer will be joined by not one, but two Rockstar Atlassian customers, Ed and Red and Avado Systems. They're going to be sharing how they're using Jira service management and other Atlassian tools to create harmony and performance improvements across their business. So on behalf of Joff, Molly, and myself, thanks for joining us here and online, and enjoy the rest of the event.